Looks like we have another hurricane coming our way to Florida. And this one, already a category five. This is insane. I'm going to have to start closing things up in here and get out of the RV. I would be upbeat, but this is uh, savvy stuff. Prepping for Hurricane Milton. So yeah, here we go. We have another hurricane. This one's a little bit uh, tense. Because I remember years ago when I was living more on the... Was it the West Coast? Yes, the West Coast of Florida. I lived in Lakeland, Florida. And there was a Category 4. And that was more centralized in the area at the time and i remember my house buckling at a category four now i'm located in central florida hopefully the storm will slow down a little bit but it's a category five hits the state this could be a real doozy for the state of florida i'm concerned for a lot of reasons I'm going to put in the slides, get my things, and um, go over to my folks. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buckle down the hatches and little by little start closing things up, getting what I need out of here. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. You know, I have my faith, uh, but there's just been a lot going on in life in general. So, um, yeah, pray for us if you see this. For those that do not know, I'm stationary here in Mount Dora, Florida. Or I think this is still called Sorrento, but Mount Dora keeps pushing the city limits out. So it's either Mount Dora or Sorrento at this point. I don't know what it is exactly. But um, I'm going to have to start getting some of these things put in. Um, this is the stationary lifestyle. So I can't flee, can't flee in the RV because A, there's multiple reasons why I can't flee. The tag's expired. And because that's what most people would say, well, why don't you just get in your RV and go? Good point, but I can't. Uh, there's a lot of variables that uh, are going on with that. So I am, just kind of a little stressed. A, because a hurricane's coming. And a lot of other variables that I'll get into later in this vlog. But what do you do? I mean, I've kind of grew up around hurricanes. I don't think I've ever been in a category five. I remember I was years ago in Louisiana when the big hurricane hit there my grandmother had passed away we were putting her in the ground and it was just complete chaos and that was a category four if i'm not mistaken this is a category five and i remember just the chaos of trying to get out of there and make it back to florida but we were had to go all the way up to i think we got up to like alabama to find a hotel to stay at i'm a little concerned about this one so hopefully it dies down prayfully it dies down in jesus name but man, the west coast of Florida was hit hard last week already. Just pray that people get out of there. This is heavy stuff. And typically where we're at, where the RV's at, uh, we still have the powered poles. So when electricity goes out here, it goes out for a while, you know? So we're hunkering down for the worst. just the stress with all this you know it's like and i've heard people going to the grocery stores they're not finding anything everything's gone water luckily i got a cases one case of water um on sunday i did sorry i'm just a little scattered right now i'm a little bit more enthused on the channel than this but this is a serious uh, moment a serious time of communicating this to you and this is my way of kind of feeling better venting getting this out so yeah probably gonna get these slides in 
probably tomorrow morning and um, just get everything locked down and get get ready for this storm which is crazy too that you know I have a, a birthday coming up it's my 52nd birthday the storm falls on Wednesday which is my birthday October 9th so happy birthday to me yay yeah so this is crazy I've never been at a point like this in my life I you know the last several years on my birthdays have, haven't been the greatest and it just seems like my birthdays in the last several years have just been this time of transition. I can literally tell you, I don't think I've ever been in this place in my life, ever. For those that don't know, I'm currently an entrepreneur. I didn't take a job at Newsmax. I was coming back from Texas. My life came crashing down. Got a job at Newsmax, got hired, found a church. Got touched by the Lord. Lord had other plans for me and to start these companies. You know, and starting these companies have been a struggle. They have. There have been a lot of highs and lows, a lot of good things, a lot of bad things. Um, but mainly with a lot of it, I've had one key contract that I've had for over a year. And that's been kind of iffy as of late. Um, don't want to cut corners and what they want me to do. I was running their socials. Now we're creating video content for them, recording video content for them. And I have no payment from them for this month, which means I have no money. And through all the years of financial woes, I have no more credit. Everything's maxed out. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. The good thing is I have two opportunities. I've got an interview tomorrow during the storm coming in with a company down in South Florida, entertainment company. So we'll see how that goes. Um, second one, talking to this radio station, see what happens. Because most people say, well, what are you going to do, Jeff, in the meantime to make up the difference? Well, yeah, you got to find work, right? You got to put your hands to plow. I've applied... Different places have had interviews at different media companies to try to fill in the gaps, but I went and a lot of interview processes went all the way to the top, third interviews, and I just didn't get the job. So I was like, okay, God, there's a reason why he doesn't want me to get these jobs. But at the same time, I feel like I literally have to do something now. I do have faith. I, I believe that God can show up, bring a sparrow, bring food. I totally believe all that, but I also got to be a good steward and continue to apply at places just to know that I'm doing everything I can possibly do. And we're, you know, with the companies, we're working hard, pushing. It's not like we're in lack of doing things, but lots of contracts signed, but money has been held and it's been extremely difficult. We've been counting on that money. So, uh, yeah, this is difficult. I do have some food. I think I've got like two packs of frozen chicken, three packs of ramen noodles, a jar of spaghetti, and some peanut butter, jelly, and two cans of beans, and what else do I have? And two other cans of something else. So I'm not completely zero out of things to eat. But it's close. I mean, I've never been at this point in my life where I'm total dependent on the Lord. Like, total dependent. It's like, I have no money. Everything's gone. It's zilch. It's vanished. There's no things. And I literally have bills. I have child support I have to pay. I haven't paid that. I've got car insurance coming up. That's happening. So... To have all this happen at the same time and a storm coming category five it's easy to get caught up and stressed out about these things and the reality of it is what can you do worry worry yourself to oblivion it's not a whole lot i believe in my faith i believe god totally believe what he says in the word of god believe that he will take care of all my needs I'm just, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll snap out of this. 
I am. I'm just in a you know funk because I've never been here, you know. And then typically I would scramble. I'd go try to find some kind of temp work, but with the hurricane coming now, it's just it's just complete chaos. So yeah, I heard that people are having a hard time getting groceries at the grocery store. I wouldn't know. I went there on Sunday. I was blessed to get a couple of things, but outside of that, whew, I wouldn't know. So you want realness? This is as real as it, as it gets. There's no fluff here. There's no, hey, this is this is in the the belly, the belly of the well. A Jonah in the well. Man, I'm trying to be inspirational here, but I think you know I'm not. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm not the only one that's going through stuff. I know people are just hitting financial woes and there's a hurricane. I'm not the only one the hurricane's coming after. There's other people that are scrambling around. But just find your peace and your rest in the Jesus. Stay close to him in the process. Just crazy times we're living in. But you know what? God is still good. Say, hey, if you like this channel, if you're new to this channel, you like what I have to say. Typically, I'm more upbeat than this. But this is kind of a serious time right now. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Even say in the comments, say, hey, man, I feel you. I'm going through something. Hey, even you say in the comments, too, I need prayer. I would definitely pray for you. Pray for us here in Florida that... Uh, People will just be okay in the process. Pray that the storm will go away. In Jesus' name, go the other way. In Jesus' name. Supernatural things, but... Hey, you made it this far. I appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one. On Creative On The Mend. See you soon. Pack it up, pack it in. It's time to begin. It's another edition of Creative On The Mend.